Good day. Welcome to this grow along video where we are going to be sowing three types of winter squash. So winter squash stroke pumpkins are different to summer squash like courgettes and the patty pans that you get because summer squashes do not keep. They have a certain shelf life not that long, a couple of weeks after they have come off the plant. With winter squash, winter squash can be kept usually for many, many months. And in some of the cases of ones we're growing today, can actually be kept through to even May of the following year in the UK from a harvest at the end of September, the beginning of October. We are also going to be doing some butternut squash seeds, but I'm not going to be doing those today. We have been sent some from Brian and we also have some from Vivi, so thank you for that. But we didn't buy any ourselves. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I missed that off the list. We have had a challenging time with butternut squash over the last couple of years, having had an absolutely fabulous harvest about three years ago. So maybe maybe it wasn't the top of my list. What was the top of my list when I saw it in the Vital Seeds catalogue was Oregon Homestead Sweet Meat. It's a big squash, really um, fabulous for overwintering. It's a bit like our Crown Prince in the UK, which is an F1 hybrid. Though obviously it's called Oregon Homestead, so we know where it came from. So I have those from um, Vital Seeds, as I say. A squash that we have grown before is Uchiki Curry. It grew really, really well for us a few years ago. And in fact, we had an array of bean canes and we grew them under the bean canes and they grew up well through the bean canes. And the thumbnail photo for this is actually one of the Uchiki Curry that grew up through the, the bean canes. It's um, again from Vital Seeds. It's called Red Curry here, but is also known as Uchiki Curry. It's an acorn squash, so it sort of has a spherical shape to it um, rather than the, the flatter shape that the Oregon Homestead and the Cheeky Prince and the Crown Prince um, also have. So I mentioned there the Crown Prince. It's an F1 hybrid. It's hybridized each year and fresh seed is created to be sent out to growers. A few years ago, we cross-pollinated a crown prince with an uchiki curry and we have been hybridizing over a number of years a new variety of squash called cheeky prince so uchiki curry and crown prince and the seed that we have this year that we're growing is from ray, ray j at the Hilltop Farm down under. So thanks very much for that CJ, really appreciate it. This is, I think it's now, it's its fourth year of growing and it will be really interesting to see what we get. What I think happened last year is the growth with Jay switched a little bit more to the Crown Prince rather than the Cheeky Prince. So it went from being pinker to whiter but you know what it looks so fantastic that that is what we're that is what we're doing we are sowing just this one seed or not just one seed because jay sent us hundreds but we sent we're sowing this one variety of crown prince type seed called cheeky prince so let me show you the seed and then we'll get on and sow them. We're going to be sowing them in modules. Um, if you want to sow them individually in round pots or square pots, then obviously you can do that too. We're going to be sowing them in these modules. And if they get too big for the modules before we need to plant them outside, we will then pop them up into larger pots in maybe for six weeks time something like that 
but let's see how we do with them growing in these modules first. Okay, let's get down to it. First of all, let me show you the seeds. These are our cheeky print seeds. Save seed by Jay at Hilltop Farm in Australia and being grown again in the UK this year. Oregon Homestead Sweet Meat, a large winter squash similar to Cheeky Prince and therefore also a bit similar to our Crown Prince in the UK which actually is an F1 hybrid. These are the Red Curry, also called Uchiki Curry, which is one of the varieties that we use to get the Cheeky Prints. That was the Crown Prince and the Uchiki Curry, i.e. Cheeky Prints. So these are an acorn squash and I hope are going to grow up our bean frames. Fingers crossed. We grew them successfully in our bean frames a few years back. First up I'm going to sow the cheeky prints. We're sowing them in these modules. You can see there's five modules by three and the modules as you know I think have got holes in the bottom to aid pricking out and all I'm going to do is keeping the seed on its side. I do like to keep it on its side just nestle it about an inch down. The reason we're putting it on its side is I do find with pumpkins having done a test last year that it's better to do this if you're going to have some colder weather whilst you're doing seed sowing because the water can puddle on top of the seed if the seed is flat, I find, or, or flat in the seed tray. So we're sowing them on the side so that the water can more easily run off. So that's those 15 sown. I'm doing quite a few of these because quite a few plot holders have asked for plants if we can get them going so fingers crossed now i'm topping up so making sure that that hole that we have created that indent is filled because you want the seed to be completely wrapped by the compost and I'm just roughing up the surface. As I've said before, I rough up the surface because I find water doesn't puddle as much then. And now I'm going to give them a really good water. The compost is pretty damp. It's not wet, it's damp. And it's better to water little and often than regularly. If you wanted to put these into a tray of water and let them stand so that the water comes up from the, the bottom and moistens all of the compost, you can do that too. Though remember to take it out after a, about an hour or a couple of hours because you don't want this compost to be wet. You want it to be moist. So that's our Cheeky prints sown. Now I'm going to sow the Uchiki Curry and the Oregon Homestead Sweet Meat in exactly the same way. That's our winter squash sown, or at least three varieties. I've also just noticed, I mentioned summer squash earlier, like courgettes. I just noticed that our Aurelia yellow courgettes have also just germinated. Their leaves are just about to start pushing through the top of the compost. So I'm really pleased about that. That's fabulous. 
So we'll be leaving these in the polytunnel for um, a good couple of weeks. We are still getting quite cold temperatures at night, but they'll be fine in the polytunnel. If you wanted to put them outside and sow them at the moment, please do check your local temperatures. But if you wanted to put them in a sunny position and put a um, propagator lid over them and then move them to a sheltered position at night, maybe closer to your home, um, that would be fine also. Or wait a couple of weeks and sow them in early to mid May. We're going to keep the compost moist, not wet. Again, these do not like wet compost and have a propensity to rot if the compost is too wet. So if you are going to be putting your pots or your modular tray into water to soak up from the bottom, like I mentioned, please remember to take it out and tip that water away or the excess water that hasn't soaked up away so that the pots and the modules can drain properly into your gravel tray, your dry gravel tray. Hopefully these will germinate within the next couple of weeks. With the daytime temperatures we're going to be getting, well, according to the forecast at the moment, <laughs> I had a moth on me, um, the temperature forecast at the moment, I reckon these will germinate in the next fortnight. If you're in a cooler place, they may take longer. As with most things, the warmer something is, the more likely it is to germinate quickly. However, again, you know, with grow lights and things like that, do not, well, in the UK particularly, put those away. If you've been using them, put them away because we really don't need um, grow lights at the moment for anything that we are sowing in the UK. Right. I'm going to leave it there and we'll follow up on these as we go along in a week at the plot where we do talk about them maybe as I say taking them out of the modules and potting them into bigger pots if we're going to do that. I will put a grow along tag onto the a week at the plot video and um, if we go, when we plant them out that will also be part of the, the grow along and the icon will uh, appear as the a weaker plot. <laughs> the icon will appear as a weaker. I can't say it. The icon will appear as a week at the plot plays in the top right hand corner. <laughs> there we are. Finally got that out. Right. I'm going to leave these in the polytunnel now. I have labelled them. So I do have my, my labels. So they are all labelled. And as I said earlier, I'll be sowing our butternut squash seeds in exactly the same way as I have sown these. I will see you relatively soon, I think, for another grow along video, a standalone sowing video, quite soon. See you then. Bye.